You probably know about Apple's AirTag. It's Apple's location tracking device that lets you find it with your phone and even ding a sound. But there's actually lots of other devices that support Find My. These devices can still appear in the Find My app. Some of them can even make a sound to help you find their location. That includes things like MagSafe wallets and even travel coffee mugs. Now, one of the big differences between Apple's Find My devices like the AirTag and other Find My compatible devices is precision finding. Precision finding is when a device has a U1 or ultra wideband chip and it will point you to the exact location of your device. AirTag has that capability and also AirPods Pro 2. If you get this newest generation, this also has precision Find My. If you have the first generation AirPods Pro, I would say the Find My and speaker built into the case of the second generation is probably one of the biggest reasons to upgrade. It does sound better, noise cancellation is better, but the Find My with precision finding has actually helped me a lot. I've forgotten these in like some shorts, put it in the hamper, and was able to catch it before it went into the wash. And the case also has a built-in speaker on the bottom so it can make a sound just in case you can't find exactly where it is. Now one Apple device that does not include a built-in U1 chip with Find My is still the Apple TV remote. In the latest generation, they actually updated to have USB-C, which is great for charging. Hopefully this is the beginning of many Apple devices getting USB-C, but there's still no built-in Find My or a built-in speaker to help you find it in your couch cushions. And while this is a total hack and you shouldn't have to do this, I got the silicone case for the Apple TV remote on Amazon that actually has a little place to put an AirTag, and this holds it in. It actually makes the remote a little more ergonomic. I'm okay with that. But now I can actually use Find My Precision Finding, and because this AirTag is with this Apple TV remote, I can have it make a sound if it drops between the cushions. I'll put a link to the silicone case on Amazon. There's a bunch on there to choose from. Now when it comes to MagSafe wallets, I did use Apple's first party MagSafe wallet that supposedly has Find My, but it only has an NFC chip built in. So your iPhone will only mark the last location it was removed from your iPhone. So whenever you detach it, then it will ping a location and track that, but you can't actually track the wallet once it's disconnected from your phone. That's why I actually prefer the ESR MagSafe wallet. Rather than just having an NFC chip that tracks when it disconnects from the phone, this actually has Bluetooth where you can track the location as part of the Find My network. So if you drop this somewhere in a store or on the street and other iPhones nearby ping its location, you'll still be able to see this on the map with an updated location rather than just the last place you disconnected it. The ESR wallet also has a built-in speaker, unlike Apple's MagSafe wallet, so if you lose it in your house or you're trying to find it, it doesn't have precision Find My or a U1 chip, but you can have the wallet make a sound. The ESR wallet can hold up to three cards. It's easy to get them out just by pushing up from the bottom. It can also act as an iPhone stand. It's pretty rigid, which is nice, so you can just prop it up. And there's even a finger loop on the back if you like that kind of grip for your iPhone. Now, because it is Bluetooth for Find My, you do have to recharge the ESR wallet. It should be only once every few months and it comes with a cable to do that. No like replaceable batteries like the little circle things. You just recharge the wallet and they give you the cable. Now if you still have a physical wallet you prefer using, I would recommend getting this Chipolo card. The Chipolo also has Find My. It can make a sound. And it's part of the Find My network. No precision Find My. Again, that's only the Apple U1 devices, but you should be able to see its location on a map as it's pinged by other iPhones. There is no rechargeable battery here, but you can send this back to Chipolo and they'll give you a discount on a new card when the battery runs out. Now, one of the newer Find My devices is the Ember Travel Mug 2. Now, this one is actually the first generation. I got this for my wife around Christmas right before the second generation one came out. But now you can buy the newer one, Travel Mug 2, for $200 and it has built-in Find My. Again, no precision finding, but if you want to be able to see this on that map in your Find My application on your iPhone, you can now have that just with an Ember travel mug. Pretty cool. Those are the devices I use most often, but some other Find My devices that are out there are e-bikes, those motorized e-bikes. Some of them have built-in Find My. I'll put links in the video description. And Targus actually makes a backpack with Find My built-in. I wanted to get it for this video, but it seems to be out of stock or at least unavailable right now. So let me know if you have any Find My devices that you've been using and you found really useful and you've actually maybe lost it and was able to find it using the Find My app. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about those and subscribe to the channel. Lots of great content coming up, some tech reviews, and don't forget to check out my smart home videos. I have my whole smart home tour on the channel, and I also just highlighted some of my favorite devices for outside and in the backyard, like the Eve Aqua, some outside weather stations, and more. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.